Donna's back again today with another video and in today's video I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial so this is the BH cosmetics in collaboration with the youtuber Daisy Marquez she is bomb I'm pretty sure we all heard of her so I did use this palette to create this eye look and I also did use nothing but affordable makeup products in this video like I promised you guys in my last tutorial because I've been using a lot of high-end products bitch I've been a little bougie so I decided in this video to use nothing but drugstore slash affordable products oh I didn't even show you guys what it looks like hello but yeah this is what she looks like she is gorgeous you guys at first when I opened it I thought I broke it and then I had to like put two and two together um if you guys want to see actually how i get this platinum blonde hair color check out my marilyn monroe video that i posted last you guys and yeah let me shut the fuck up now because i feel like i'm raving i just you know i'm feeling myself you know per usual in this bitch <laughs> so y'all already know what to do keep on watching but definitely before you go hit that subscribe button that way you can be down with the prima donna nation because we the baddest bitches out okay Hit that subscribe button for your girl. And until next time, guys, bye. So jumping into voiceover, I'm starting already with my eyebrows laid. Yes, you guys. And I'm so hyped about this because I've been literally raving about this eyebrow pencil for a little minute. But it's the Morphe eyebrow pencil and it is bomb, you guys. It is only $5. So for eyes, I'm going to be taking the BH Cosmetics collab with the infamous Daisy Marquez, you guys. I live for her. So I absolutely thought that her palette was so cute, you guys. Off rip, just from the moment you open it. Like, you could really, really express yourself with this palette. There's a lot of looks that you can create, which I really like. And I love her little setup with the vanity mirror. Like, I was like, yes, girl, she ate that. So like I said before, there's a lot of combinations that you can do with this eye look. So I was so inspired. So I didn't even know what look I wanted to do at first i thought i wanted to do a warm tone look because y'all know me that's why i have a yellow shirt on but honestly once i seen that blue and i seen that green i was so inspired by that green because y'all know lime green is literally my favorite color so once i seen that blue and green i was like that's it that's the combo right there we eating it and i was mad hype because literally my whole idea for this look changed and i was like yes bitch let's work so i decided to go straight into that mint shade and it did have a lot of fallout i'm not gonna front but a lot of the bh cosmetics palettes do tend to have a lot of fallout which does not bother me because they're not like chalky or anything as long as they blend girl i'm good so this mint color was really really cute you guys so i just took this on a crease brush and worked this right into the crease and since i am going with a more mint color i decided to change my shirt because it was kind of throwing me off so i just put on this black shirt and if you ever like work your shadows way too high like to your brow bone i love when palettes incorporate like a creamy color that's like a skin tone type color like it's so good as like a eraser kind of so i like to use this if you blend way too high just to like blur out those edges and then i just decided to wet my brush and go in with that turquoise shade and at first i did put it on dry and it was not giving it to me girl like it was not but when i did just wet my brush with a little bit of like some setting spray or whatever it gave me life like there we go i was living you guys the shimmer shades in this palette are absolutely stunning well at least for these two that i did use so you guys know i had to dip into that lime green and i love the name of this lime green it was called slime so you know i'm top petty slime over here so anyway i just popped that into my inner corner and then i was just like yo bitch r.i.p because i just slayed this look like these two colors together really killed it for me like mint turquoise and lime green yes bitch this look is so perfect for spring if you guys are going on spring break or just want to add some color into your life but then tragedy happened okay actually there's a lot of tragedy in this video get into it so my fucking lashes broke i was tight you guys but I actually, actually ended up finding a backup pair, so I wasn't too mad, but on some real though, all I gotta say is suck my dick to this freaking Mercury Retrograde. I'm so sick of it, but moving on to primer. This is the Maybelline Master Prime, the blue one, and this is my favorite primer at the moment. You can find this at your drugstore. Like I said in the intro, everything in this video is affordable slash drugstore, like I told you guys in my last video. Girl, I'm running out of this primer. This is my shit right now. This is like a dupe for the Hangover Primer from Too Faced. But anyway, this Real Technique sponge, I'm pretty sure we all heard of it, is also from the drugstore. And for foundation, I'm using the Makeup Revolution stick. 
this stick is so creamy you guys like so freaking creamy as you guys can see it's just gliding on my skin like butter but when i do use a stick foundation or like any type of cream foundations i do like to use a foundation brush instead of the sponge just so that way i could really really spread out that product but it does like to lay on top of the skin so you are going to see me go in with the real technique sponge afterwards just to make it one with the skin and really push it into it so that way it doesn't look like you look cakey or anything it just looks like skin and i was so obsessed you guys over this foundation so i really really like this foundation so moving on to concealer i did use the makeup revolution concealer as well and the concealer was cute like not my favorite concealer but she was a nice concealer for the price you guys she's super affordable and it did go hand in hand with the foundation so i wasn't even mad at it but the only thing with the concealer is that it was super duper brightening um more, a little bit more brighter than what i'm used to but it wasn't terrible but anyway setting that concealer with the cody airspun um you guys this is a super cheap translucent powder but it is so good you guys before i freaking got into my high-end powders this is what i used to use all the time you guys and i actually still use it to like bake underneath my contour because it is so good but anyway to set the rest of the face i'm gonna take that la girl pro powder and i'm gonna use that to set that cream foundation and to contour i am taking the physician's formula butter bronzer this is an od you guys if you guys watch my channel for a little minute you guys know i used to use this shit all the time and it smells like coconuts like if you get this definitely smell it and tell me that you'll thank me because it smells bomb so going back in with that airspun powder and I'm going to use this to clean up my contour because um, I just like that sharp ass contour look. Duh. Anyway, and now I'm going to go in and wipe it away immediately because it is a little bit drying. So if you have dry skin, it is nice to set, but you have to wipe it away quick. So moving on to blush. This is my collab blush. You can find collab products at Sally's Beauty. So super affordable. Jumping back into the eyes, I am going to tie in basically everything that we did up top to my lower lash line. So taking that mint green and I'm just going to pop that on my lower lash line and smoke it out. And then for the inner corners, of course, pop in that lime green because it did get a little bit lost. Um, when you are working with more like affordable eyeshadows, I noticed that they tend to fade a lot quicker than high-end shadows but like i said it, it has its pros and cons but it is still a pigmented ass palette and this palette is definitely one that you should not miss out on moving on to highlight you guys i'm taking the morphe high impact highlighter in the shade extra and this shit was so blinding and i actually lost the footage of me putting on my um thing because my camera died but you guys i turned my back for one second and look who was in the room Dudes, and remember the highlighter that I thought I just liked? Yeah, ruined, totaled. Autumn just destroyed it in a matter of seconds. And this is me being a mom and she just paid it and just ran away. Like, okay, you're mad? Who cares? And I was just like, danger. <laughs> but anyway, so after highlight, I am just going to finish up this look with my lips. I am going to take this Morphe lip pencil. And the, these lip pencils are only $3, you guys. Three freaking dollars. Definitely go grab you some Morphe lip pencils because they are my favorite right now. So this is how it looked with the matte lip. I didn't put lipstick or anything. I just left the lip pencil. But right now, I have been team gloss. So I'm gonna, I am going to take this e.l.f. gloss. This is from the Modern Metals collection. And this gloss bitch had me shook. It was so gorgeous, like, wow, I was so hype on this gloss. I literally, since this video, been wearing this gloss every single day, so I highly recommend this gloss. If you are gonna pick up anything in this video, bitch, this gloss was popping. But last but not least is the Milani Make It Dewy. This is my favorite setting spray, especially if you are a dry girl. It makes you look so glowy. I love it. So yeah, this is the completed look. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Let me know if you did get the Daisy Marquez palette and what you think of it in the comments below. And until next time, guys, bye.